Welcome back to another Inside NFT's second of the day. Couldn't stay away given the D-God Season 3 release, reveal. What do we even call this? This is a little different. And mistakes were made. I'm shocked. I'm honestly shocked. Thought we uh, thought we had our first home run of the bear market here. Seemed like there was going to be no mint. This would be a free update for D Gods holders. Updated art. It is that, but it wasn't free. And I believe this is a huge, huge misstep. I saw FUD on my Twitter timeline. Okay, and I didn't understand it. I didn't understand what people were upset about, but I'm going to show you some tweets, even from Frank. And I thought he was just taking a little of the feedback a little too personal. When I actually realized what people are upset about, I get it. People were mad about CyberKong's minting for 0.25 a couple weeks ago. Too expensive. Well, this isn't technically a mint, but there is a cost, and it's much more than 0.25 ETH. Let's take a look here. We're going to start with the Forecast 500 quick update, because might as well. We're here. Let's see what the market's doing and how it's reacting. Uh, down a little from this morning. Up 0.38, though, for the day. Looking all right here still. Here's how the rollout started. Okay. Frank announced, finally. Oh, before we get to that, want to mention, I wasn't sure if I got the date and the time wrong for the Season 3 update from D-Gods. No, it was delayed. And that is something that the community is rather upset about, too, that they were waiting yesterday. They've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this update. There was no announcement that it would be delayed. It just was delayed. So people are upset about that. Here's what they're really upset about. Okay, to update your D-God NFT... To become part of Season 3. To qualify, I think, for rewards. Maybe even to claim your points. I don't want to commit to that. I'm not sure, but I saw somebody upset that he'd saved up points and can't use them. But it'll cost 333 dust, which I believe is the equivalent of about 0.4 ETH. So you have a, a mint, basically, here. If you want to update your PFP to at least bring it current to take part, I, I'm assuming, in the future of D-Gods, you need to spend 0 0.4, 0 0.41 ETH. It goes against everything that probably should be done in this market here. 2 ETH was way too much by Azuki in June. 0.25, right on the line. Questionable, doable. I think 0.25 is okay, but we saw that the rest of the market really didn't. On Ronin for CyberKongs, they sold out in an hour. On Ethereum, they couldn't sell out their collection of 9,000. They slashed the supply. I think it was more than 9,000. Not sure off the top of my head here, but it didn't work. So now you have a 10K collection charging 0.4. Let's just say 0.4. I can understand. I can really understand why people are upset. And this impacts the community more than it does other holders, non-holders. They don't even have access to do this. So this doesn't affect them. This impacts D-God's holders exclusively. They're pissed. Not all of them, but here's a, here's a story. Jackson Iverson been diamond handing points since October, but he needs to pay seven hundred fifty dollars to upgrade. He's calling it a lesser PFP. It's because the art is different. I think the art looks really cool, but he can't afford it. Now some of the community giving him a hard time. They're saying you own a, a profile picture, an NFT worth fifteen thousand dollars, but you can't afford seven hundred fifty. You you don't belong. And I think that's crazy. And he even says he bought it when it was worth a thousand. People need to understand what NFTs are and what they're not. There's really not a lot of innovation going on here. There's really not. I think we've, I think we've kind of gone a little overboard talking about what's actually happening here. This guy should probably sell that fifteen thousand dollar NFT because right now that price is tanking. And people, again, if they were a little more realistic about what's happening in this space and questioning how much is this JPEG in this fan club really worth, I think people would happily take 15 grand, maybe even way less than that. It's what these NFTs are. They're fan club tokens. They're access pack passes to, to your a social club. They're not a lot more than that. 
And that's great as a luxury item. If you can afford it, great. But some of these guys can't. Some of these guys think they're going to miss the next big thing, the next big, the next Board Ape Yacht Club. And we'll have one of those again, right? But maybe not. Again, we need to talk about NFTs more realistically. We do. It'll save people a lot of stress. It'll save people a lot of money. But you have people who own these assets and they're talking a big game and they're playing these up because it's in their financial interest to do exactly that. Everyone benefits from talking it up, except in a bear market. When no more money's coming in, then you talk to big game and you got nothing to back it up. And that's what we're seeing all summer long. Nothing to back up these NFTs. And so when they start falling, nobody's buying in because you're not buying anything substantial. So they will fall and fall and fall until they find a bottom, until they hit the floor. And we have no idea where that is. My gut is we're nowhere close on any collection, even Bored Apes. Only CryptoPunks do I think have possibly found a floor at 50 or so ETH. They could go to 25 or 30, but I really doubt it. One holder sold 100, 100 D-Gods, dumped them. Tanking the floor price. A little disorganized here, darn. 100. OpenSea actually flagged them as, as stolen because that kind of quantity coming from someone, typically that's activity you see from a scammer. But no, this is a legit holder who is selling them, just dumping them while there is some value. He's banking or betting that the floor pri price is going to come crashing down. And so far it has. Floor price is down over 20% just today. 24% for the week, almost 25%. It'll, play, it'll pick back up. I, I think they have enough supporters that'll come in and salvage the project to a, d a degree. It's probably not the best way to word it, but for now, that works. People will come in and support the project that they that so many people do love. But not a good day, and really avoidable. Don't charge in this market. Don't charge almost half an ETH in this market. I think that's crazy. So Frank, accepting the feedback, says, fuck it, let's figure this shit out. And I even replied to him. Don't care under each point. Well, no, I think he should care. Now that I realize it's that he charged, that's what people are upset about. I'd be upset too. You can't charge people almost a thousand dollars in this market to to keep playing. It's not going to work. Some more positive news. DK and Cosmo, their new drop on the base blockchain. It's doing really well. 15,000 of the Ethereum version. There was actually two editions. An Ethereum version and a Bitcoin version, although both are on the base blockchain. Uh, one where this little guy raises an Ethereum flag. It's really cool. And another Bitcoin version, which sold almost 8,000. So altogether, over 20,000 of these minted. Tons of time to go still, too. Here, we'll, we'll take a peek at that real quick. It's really cool. cut off a little bit here, but you get the idea. It's a cool NFT. About 20 bucks, I was right with the price prediction. Other than that, not a lot happening in the market. These are the big things. Um, disappointing, really disappointing to see D-Gods fumble. It is a fumble. There's no way to sugarcoat this. I'm watching to see what Beanie says. I wonder how Beanie, if he looks at this as a mistake or not. But if he thinks that he thinks charging in this market, especially that amount, is not a mistake. I'll probably have a little back and forth with him if he's up for it. I just think it's a mistake. I get the point. I get the purpose. I get that he needs money to build, too, especially giving back that $3 million from Utes. But asking your community for, again, 0.4 ETH, maybe more, to keep playing, it's really, really rough. We'll see how this plays out over the next few hours, over the next day. Heck, I might be back later. We'll see how this develops. It is interesting. But if not, then definitely tomorrow. I'm sure there's going to be plenty to talk about. Until that time, we'll see you.